Hello everyone, and welcome to this new video tutorial for Maverick Render. As you probably know already, since our latest release, displacement as a material property, instead of an object property like before. In this video we will learn how to adjust existing Maverick scenes that use displacement so they work in the new build. Let's use our sample scenes for this, as some of them use displacement themselves. We will start by the one called Alien Coral. If we load it up, displacement is gone. Let's see how to rewire displacement. Let's select the material and go to the displacement rollup. We enable displacement, and by pressing the input plug we can either create a new displacement node, or pick one of the displacement nodes already existing in the scene. In this case we just want to pick the original displacement, which already exists in the scene. Once done, we must update displacement from the top toolbar. Now we can go back to the material and adjust the displacement height to match its original look and feel. That's all that is needed to convert the scene to the new displacement system. Let's try another one. From the start dialog, we select the sample called Naval Mine. Let's do the same as before, but this time we will work in the nodal editor. We can see how the scene has lost track of displacement. Using the shortcut key N we send the currently selected material to the nodal editor. We may alternatively use this button here. In the material scene explorer, we will find the original displacement node, which hosts a height map inside. Let's simply drop it on the nodal editor, and connect it to the material's displacement input. We may click the material to load it up in the attribute editor, and enable displacement from the displacement rollup. We adjust its height and see how the render picks up our changes. Please note that Autobump has experienced some changes in our latest release, so you may have to fine tune it. In this example it seems too intense, so we will dim it down. Here is our second example, adapted to the new displacement system. Let's work on a third one. The Goblin Scene We will use the nodal editor again. We send the material to the nodal editor and we drop the original displacement node as well. We connect both nodes and select the material so we can enable displacement. It feels too intense, so we will adapt its height. Remember that by pressing the input plug we will get to the auto bump settings, which can be used to enhance or dim down fine details, greatly affecting the overall appearance of the material. We have learned how to adapt pre-existing scenes to the new displacement system in Maverick. All that needs be done is to rewire the original displacement node to the corresponding material. This is all for now. See you in the next video. Have fun rendering with Maverick.